There's a lot of different types of soft rope out there. What are they used for and which one should you choose? In today's video, we're gonna talk about all the different things that you need to know when it comes to selecting your rope for your application. Before we get into this video, let us know that you enjoy this type of content by giving us a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button in the lower right hand corner. So first, let's go over rope construction types. Twisted, also called laid rope, is the earliest form of rope construction and it was used in about 4000 BC by early Egyptians. Rope makers take two or three twisted strands and then they twist them in the opposite direction. But one drawback to this construction is that each fiber in the rope can be exposed to abrasion over the entire length of the rope. Three strand rope has been around for a really long time and it's still regarded as one of the best choices for boating and general purpose applications. Hollow braid rope is a single diamond braided cord that's constructed of eight, 12, or 16 strands, and it's most commonly made in either nylon or polypropylene. Hollow braid rope is braided in a circular type pattern, with half of the strands going clockwise and the other half going counterclockwise. This makes for a really strong rope construction, kind of like the Chinese finger traps that you would have played with whenever you were a kid. It doesn't have a core, so it makes it very easy to splice, and it's also really flexible, and overall, it's just a great general purpose type of rope. Double braided rope is basically a hollow braided rope that has a diamond braided core. This rope typically has good strength and abrasion resistance since the outer core protects the inner core while both are load bearing. The only real downside to double braided rope is that it can be a little bit difficult to splice. In solid braided rope, all the strands travel in the same direction, either clockwise or counterclockwise and they're woven in a way to form both the interior and exterior of the rope. It's very strong and one of the best parts is that whenever you cut it, it's not gonna unravel on you. It's important to note that solid braid ropes can be easily knotted, but they cannot be spliced. They're used for general purpose applications, especially animal leads. Eight plate rope is constructed by intertwining four sets of two strands in a maypole fashion around the rope axis in a plain pattern, one over and one under. It handles like three strand and has the same tensile strength, but it's more absorbent, which makes it great for anchor roads. Relative strengths of different constructions, tolerances, and more info on rope can be found on our website at e-rigging.com rope. Now let's get into the rope fiber types. The first one up is one of our best sellers, which is nylon. Nylon rope is a synthetic rope that can be constructed in twisted, double braid, and solid braid formats. It's going to win most of the battles when it comes to strength, shock loads, and flexing endurance. And it's going to sink since it will absorb 6% of its weight when in water. It does have a high melting point of 480 degrees. Almost all nylon ropes today are blended with a high percentage of polyester. Now these still make great ropes, but for fatigue resistance used in windless anchor winches, we recommend using a 100% nylon braid rope. You can check out our US made United Strands rope in the link below. As far as environmental tolerances go, nylon is resistant to rot, mildew, and abrasion. And it's recommended for petroleum, electrical, and alkaline environments. It's slightly susceptible to exposure to acids and also UV rays. It can be stored either wet or dry. Nylon rope is super versatile because of its shock absorption and resistance to abrasion. You can commonly find it being used in pulley systems, marine anchoring and mooring applications, and also dynamic loads. Polyester, or poly, is another synthetic type rope that can either be found in solid braid or double braid constructions. Polyester is cost effective, making it a great all-around rope to have on hand but it's most commonly found in marine applications since it maintains its performance whenever it's wet or dry. Polyester wins a tug of war in regards to its resistance against UV, abrasion, and acids. It's more heat resistant than nylon, however for dynamic loads it's not a good choice because of its low stretch factor. Polyester is suitable for more marine and general purpose applications rather than industrial use but many will take advantage of its low stretch properties for things like dock and anchor lines, electrical utility pulling ropes, and even CrossFit battle ropes. Polypropylene or polypro is a lightweight synthetic rope and it's usually found in either hollow braid or twisted constructions. Polypro is mostly known for its ability to float and also as a general purpose type rope. 
It has good strength and abrasion resistance, and it also has a lot of resistance to rotting, mildew, and most common chemicals. And it can also be stored either wet or dry. The only real downside to PolyPro is that it can be a little bit rough on your hands, but also it can be a little bit difficult whenever it comes to holding knots. PolyPro really shines in instances wherever you need a lightweight rope that can also float. So for marine type applications such as swimming lane dividers, buoy lines, or maybe you're even replacing the line on your cast net, PolyPro is going to be the rope for you. Ultra high molecular weight polyethylene, or also referred to as the brand names of Dyneema or Spectra, is used in a lot of high performance type applications such as motorcycle jackets or alpine tents. Our C Strand X high performance rope is made of these exact same fibers and it's going to have the highest strength to weight ratio of any of the ropes that we carry in our lineup. This type of rope can be used for a wide variety of applications. By weight, it's stronger than steel cable, and it also can be used in a number of different dynamic type situations, such as lifting, pulling, or towing, since it has decent elasticity. This type of rope is really durable and has great resistance to things like water, mildew, rot, alkalis, acids, and UV rays. It is a little bit susceptible to abrasion and snags because it is so soft, so you'll wanna keep that in mind, and it also has somewhat of a low melting point around 300 degrees, so you'll want to be careful if you're operating and using this rope in a high heat type of environment. C-Strand X can be used for such a wide variety of applications. Some of the most popular are using it as a tow rope, it can be used on winches, it can be used for lifting or pulling. It's really going to shine in all these different areas. Surprisingly enough, C-Strand X is also used to replace steel cable. The reason being is that C-Strand X actually has a higher strength to weight ratio than steel cable does, and whenever you're inspecting the rope for any damages, it's going to immediately turn lighter wherever it is damaged, which is going to allow you to either replace the rope or make the repairs as necessary. Manila is one of the oldest rope making materials, and it's commonly found in a three-strand twisted construction. Manila is strong, pretty durable, and has good shock loading abilities, and it can last up to eight or so years whenever it's stored in a cool, dry place that's off the ground. If you're using this rope in the outdoors, you wanna try and inspect it periodically and consider replacing it every six to eight months, depending on the elements that it's exposed to. Manila tends to char rather than melt around 350 degrees. It does have pretty good resistance to UV rays, However, the fibers are going to soak up the majority of the moisture that they encounter. If your manila rope is going to be exposed to any sort of abrasion hazards, you want to make sure that you're inspecting it on a regular basis. It is susceptible to rot and mildew, and it also can be a little bit hard to clean. It's not recommended for use around oil, gas, and any chemicals. Over the years, manila has been slowly edged out of industrial applications and is now being used for more of things like packaging and one-time use ropes. However, it's oftentimes used in a lot of interior design applications and arts and crafts. That's gonna be it for today's video. We hope you learned some of the basics of choosing the right soft rope for your application. And drop us a comment if you think we missed anything. I'm Tyler with E-Rigging. Thanks for watching.